Did you know that in the past 4 weeks alone, more than 100 new AI tools have been released? I've tested over 200 AI tools so that you don't have to, and while 90% of them are basically duplicates for the same use cases, you know, text-to-speech, text-to-image, some AI video editing, copywriting, text and video summaries, and maybe a couple more, but essentially that's how it currently looks like a dozen of use cases and hundreds of AI tools. So in this video, I'll share those tools that I have personally started using, not only to showcase in my videos, but my productivity has actually increased and I keep using them. I'll start with Cider. This is a Chrome extension that functions as a ChatGPT sidebar. Essentially, it allows you to access ChatGPT very conveniently on the side of all your web pages. You can summarize or translate any article, find similar pages, explain any concept, but I primarily use it for three simple tasks. The first task is when writing an email. I often use AI to check the grammar and, you know, maybe rewrite the email to make it more formal for work. Now I no longer need to copy the text, open another tab with ChatGPT, write a prompt, and then copy the results back to my Gmail tab. Instead, I can complete this process directly within my Gmail tab. I simply select the text, choose grammar, submit, and paste the revised text back to Gmail. The second feature I like is the integration of ChatGPT results with Google search. Sometimes when I Google something, I can't find the answer immediately. So I think maybe ChatGPT knows, and I go to ChatGPT, and search for information there. Thanks to Cider, whenever I use Google for a search, the answer from ChatGPT also pops up alongside the Google results. Once you get used to it, it proves to be super helpful and time-saving. And the third one is the explain button. Whenever you are browsing the web, you can simply select any text and click explain to receive a comprehensive explanation from ChatGPT right away. The second tool on our list is perplexity.ai. A lot of popular YouTubers are discussing perplexity, so you might have already heard about about it. This is ChatGPT, which has internet access, so its responses are up to date. It also provides the URLs it uses to support its answers, and you don't need to log in or experience any breakdowns, which you do with ChatGPT. However, what I find most useful is their mobile app, which I use daily now. With it, you can use your voice to ask questions and receive answers from ChatGPT connected to the internet and backed by online sources. I find it so helpful because, you know, I just don't like typing on my phone. I use it all the time, especially when I am on the go, when I am driving or something. I am aware that OpenAI has released ChatGPT for iPhone, which also allows you to ask questions using your voice. However, it only works in the US and it doesn't have internet access, so perplexity seems to be a more flexible alternative. The next tool is ChatMind, and I use it to build mind maps with AI. In the past, I used Miro for mind mapping, which is not bad at all, but you still have to manually type, drag and drop. On the other hand, ChatMind allows you to input your topic or question, maybe some context, and it utilizes AI to generate some specific ideas that are then organized into a ready-to-use mind map. I'd say that Miro is still more convenient as a drag-and-drop tool to visualize your ideas into a mind map from scratch, while ChatMind can serve as a co-pilot, assisting with initial ideas so that you can continue brainstorming and developing them further. Next, we have market research use case and two different AI tools to assist with that task. PlusDocs is capable of generating a comprehensive market research report in Google Slides. All you need to do is provide them with a topic, whether it be a specific company or industry that you wish to research. Their AI will generate the report and within five minutes send you a link via email to a Google Slides presentation containing a ready-to-use market report. To be honest, when I do it manually, the research is more insightful, you know, just better quality. But when it comes to a general report, it does a great Job. Elicit.org is another tool to help you with manual research. Its goal is to use AI to support your research rather than doing it completely for you. It appears to be primarily designed for academic papers, for academic research. You ask a question and Elicit can find the relevant papers and summarize takeaways from the paper that are specific to your question. So you can quickly gather a bunch of relevant literature for your work. You can filter the results to display only those with PDF files that you can download. Additionally, you have the 
the option to include more information about all the papers, such as main findings. The next tool on our list is tldrthis.com. It can summarize long articles into concise and easily understandable content. The only reason I have included it in the list is because it can summarize not only text, but also URLs containing the articles. So instead of manually selecting and copying the article, you can simply enter the URL into this tool and obtain a summary of the information found on that web page. Let's continue. The last one on our list is writer.me. If you were to ask Google, what are the best practices to increase the SEO of your website? The number one advice would be to produce high quality content that is relevant to your audience. That is why many software companies have blog section on their websites. Even here, we can see SEMrush is one of the first results. It is their blog post on search engine optimization, which is relevant content to their audience because they sell software for SEO analysis. So if you want to attract more customers from organic Google searches, it would be great to run a blog on your website as soon as possible. But of course it takes a lot of time. And if you start a business, writing blog posts would not be your first priority. You wouldn't have time for that. That's where this tool comes in handy. In Writer, you simply choose a use case, blog idea and outline. Then enter the primary keyword and click write for me. You will receive an outline for your blog post. All you need to do is select each section heading along with relevant keywords and use the paragraph option from the ribbon. Writer's AI will then produce SEO friendly, long form content, which you can directly paste onto your blog. The only thing you need to come up with is a topic for each blog post. You can use ChatGPT to provide you with the list of blog topics relevant to your product or service. Then you can spend only 15 minutes preparing the blog articles for several months in advance. All right, there are also some great AI tools available for image creation, image and video editing, but I have not included them because I am not a designer and my focus is on tools that specifically increase my productivity and improve business performance. By the way, check out my other videos on some mind-blowing AI tools related to business. Make sure to share your feedback in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.